If you're looking for a simple way to create high quality ads that actually convert, then look no further than Adobe Express. As an Adobe Express ambassador, I'm excited to show you the seamless ad creation process so you can start promoting your brand or products on TikTok, Meta, Google, or any other platform you wish. I'll demonstrate how to access and use customizable templates to create eye-catching ads, resize ads for multiple platforms, and seamlessly download or publish your ads directly from Adobe Express. We'll even go over how to use AI to transform your boring ad photos and mock-up images into attention-grabbing videos that boost engagement and increase conversions. So let's head over to Adobe Express and go over how to create some eye-catching ads. If you haven't joined Adobe Express yet, make sure you click the link in the video description to try it for free. So from the Adobe Express homepage, the first thing I want to do is go over how to access the customizable ad templates. To do this, let's go to the Quick Actions menu at the top here and click the social media and ads icon. This will open up a menu where you can select the platform that you want to create your ad for. This includes pretty much any platform that you can think of, including Instagram, Facebook, Google Ads, TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn, and more. For this demonstration, I'm going to be creating an ad for TikTok, so let's go to the TikTok tab. From here, if I hover my mouse over the TikTok ad option, I should see the Browse Templates button. Let's click that now. This will take us over to the Adobe Express Editor, and on the left-hand side here, you should see the customizable templates. From here, we can browse through hundreds of different templates that we can customize to create our ad. And there are tons of different styles to choose from, so take your time and find the perfect one for your campaign. If you're looking for something specific, you can simply use the search bar at the top here and search for whatever style of template that you're looking for. Now in your search results, all the templates should be related to the topic that you searched. And if it's a video ad, you can hover your mouse over it to preview it. I'm going to create an ad for my apparel website, so let's go with this template here. When you select a template, you'll have the option to add it as a new page or start a new file. Let's just add it as pages. And my template has been added to my project. So the next thing we'll be going over is how to easily customize your template to create your ad. Using the Adobe Express tools, we can easily customize anything on our template that we want. To edit the text, simply select it and start typing in whatever you want it to say. And with your text selected, you can use the menu on the left hand side to change your fonts, your text colors and add other effects. You can also resize elements by dragging the corners and sides or move things around by clicking and dragging the element to whatever location you wish. And if you wanted to add other shapes and graphics to your template, you can simply go to the Elements tab and browse through tons of different design assets that can enhance your ad. Simply search for whatever it is that you're looking for and you'll find hundreds of graphics related to that topic. When you find one you like, simply select it to add it to your template. And of course, it can be rearranged and resized as needed. And since you're creating an ad for your brand or product, you'll likely have a brand image or a product mockup that you want to use with your ad. So to replace the default image or video, simply select it, then click the replace icon. From the drop down menu, I'm going to select replace with upload. I can then find and open up the image that I want to use for my ad. And the default template video has been replaced with my mockup image. I can now move my image around and resize it to get it in the perfect position. And it looks like my ad is starting to come together. I think this looks pretty good. But before we publish, we should always make sure that all of our elements are within the safe zone. Safe zones are a new feature that allows us to make sure that all of the elements on our ad will be visible on whatever platform we're uploading to. So to enable safe zones, let's click the safe zones button at the top here. You can then click here to show the safe zones and select the type of ad that you're creating. For this example, I'm creating an ad for TikTok. So let's select the TikTok video option. And the TikTok safe zone has been added to my template. When creating your ad, you want to try to keep all of your important elements within the safe zone. For TikTok, the safe zone is a little off center to make room for the buttons on the right. So let's go ahead and resize my main heading here and my logo to make sure they both fit with inside the safe zone. And there we go. Now when I publish my ad, my main elements won't be blocked by the TikTok buttons. I'm currently working on an ad for TikTok, but if you wanted to create ads for multiple platforms at the same time, you could easily do this by using the Resize tool. To see how it works, let's click the Resize tab at the top toolbar here. This should open up the Resize menu where we can resize our ad to whatever dimensions we wish. If we go to the Browse section and click the Social Media and Ads tab, it'll take us to a menu where we can select the platform that we want to resize our ad for and the type of post that we're creating. We can resize our ad for any platform that we wish, 
including Instagram, Facebook, Google Ads, TikTok, and more. So to test out the resize feature, I'm gonna go to the Instagram tab and select to resize my design for an Instagram feed ad. But keep in mind, when you resize your ad, the image that you use may no longer be the correct size. Luckily, we can use AI to automatically expand our image to fit the new dimensions. If we select the expand image option here, when we resize our design, our image will automatically be expanded by AI. So to test out the resize feature, I can click the resize button at the bottom or click the duplicate and resize button to save a copy of the original. And Adobe Express should now start resizing my ad. And if we look here, we can see the AI is also working its magic on expanding my image. Once your image has been analyzed, it'll provide you with three expanded options that you can select from. Each option will be slightly different, so take your time and select the one that you like best. For my image, the clouds in the background have been expanded, and I think I like the last one the best. Once you select your image, go ahead and click the Keep button at the bottom. And your new resized ad should now be generated. You can now edit it if needed, then download it or publish it to your desired platform. So that's an overview of how to use the resize tool if you wanted to publish to multiple platforms. But let's go back to my TikTok ad and see what else we can do. I think this ad is looking pretty good. This might work great for an Instagram or Facebook story, but since I'm creating an ad for TikTok, I'm gonna need to turn my image into a video. On Adobe Express, we can actually turn our images and photos into stunning AI videos using TikTok's Symphony Assistant. And this is a cool new add-on feature that allows us to take our ads to the next level. To check it out, let's go to the menu on the left-hand side here and scroll down to the Add-ons tab. If we click this, it should open up the Add-ons menu. If this is your first time using the TikTok Symphony Assistant, you'll need to search for it and add it to your add-ons. And the TikTok Symphony Assistant app should now be available in your add-ons. So let's click it to open it up. And here's the TikTok Symphony Assistant app on the right-hand side here. We're gonna be using it to turn my image into a video, so let's select the image to video option at the top here. A new menu should appear where we can add our image. So to upload my image, let's click the option here. I can then find and open up the mock-up image that I wanna use for my ad. I'm gonna use the same image on my ad here to see if we can turn it into a video. And once you add your image, you can simply go down to the text field here and type in a text prompt describing whatever you want your image to do. For this example, let's see if we can have the people smile and wave to the camera. And after you tell the AI what you want, simply go down to the bottom here and click the generate button. The AI will then analyze your image and your text prompt and start generating your video. This may take a few moments, but once it's finished, your boring image will be turned into an attention grabbing video. It's really amazing how AI can take a still image and make it move however you like. So to use my new video with my ad, Let's go down to the bottom here and click the export tab. My new AI video will then be downloaded and I can add it to my ad. There we go. Now I can resize it and rearrange it and voila. My new TikTok ad now has an attention grabbing video. Let's play it to see how it looks. My ad comes in with animated text and graphics and plays my video. I think that looks pretty good. So now that I'm finished creating my ad, I can now download it to my device or publish it directly from Adobe Express. With direct publishing, our ads can be uploaded seamlessly to top platforms directly from Adobe Express. So to test this out, let's go up to the share button at the top right. This will open up a menu with several options to share our design. Since I created a TikTok ad, let's go down to the recommended options here and click the TikTok ads manager icon. Your video ad will then be exported and opened up in TikTok one. It looks like both versions of my ad were actually exported. If you needed to preview an ad, simply hover over it and click the view video button. And if everything looks good, simply select the ad you want to use and click the sync to ads manager button at the top right. You can then select the account that you have connected, then click the sync button at the bottom right. And my video has been synced and sent over to my TikTok ads manager. I can now publish my new ad to TikTok and use it to start promoting my apparel website. So that's a quick overview of the seamless ad creation process on Adobe Express. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.